show you uh, this little difference that I figured after I downloaded Blender 4.4 and I tested the Vulkan uh, experimental backend. Okay, for you that doesn't know what Vulkan is, is the way Blender is going, the direction that Blender is going. Before Blender was uh, fully based on OpenGL, okay, and now is trans is uh, translating from that to Vulkan backend. What does that mean? For who that doesn't know, Vulkan is a technology that deals with drawing things on viewport. Okay, I'm not a technician, so I don't know the details that much. Uh, but I know that Unreal Engine uses that, and other tools use that as well. And that allows you to have way more objects on your viewport, less uh, memory RAM, dealing with texture better, dealing with uh, visualizing things on your viewport faster and having way better performance. Okay? And what is the point of this video? The video is that after I open a very heavy shading on a workbench using both in OpenGL. And Vulkan, I feel a huge difference and I want to share with you and that makes me excited because I know that Blender is going to this direction and I can kind of imagine that in the future for painting tools and things like that okay let me show you this is Blender 4.4 here and this one let's put side by side, by side. and this one is Blender 4.3 this is the old to check it out open gel Okay, you can see it how here in system. Okay, so this is the open gel, right? If I go to material preview, it's gonna take me there. Okay, and you see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the preview. Okay, I'm using a RTX 3080 Ti. Okay, so the material is very heavy, and I am using to create this whole material uh, the easy texture creator the link is below if for who that is interested on and uh, that's that's how it looks okay that's how you can move on your viewport you can see the leggy and you can see how uh, it's kind of slow to compile the shaders right sometimes you move it and then you compile the shader Okay, this is OpenGL, right? This is how it is in Blender 4.3. Okay, let's move on to Blender 4.4. Okay, so if we go to Material Preview, let's see what's gonna happen. You see, it was way faster, but look at this. When you move around in your viewport, no laggy anymore at all. Look at this. Okay. Go play around it. It's the same object, you see, the same material, no laggy at all. Right? If we go previously, OpenGL, material preview, you see, it's man, it's like I can't even understand how laggy is this compared to Vulkan. So that's brilliant, that's awesome because it will allow us to paint and dealing with other things actually actually let me do a quick test here okay I have this paint mode here I'm not gonna be using any paint color just red okay just for the sake of uh, showing you guys what I'm talking about okay this is okay now it's blender 4.3 because it's compiling the shader but after it shows the shader it becomes heavy you will see You see how it's low it is right away it's very so it's super slow right but it's compelling compiling the shaders okay now we have the shaders compiled so let's bring here in our paint texture and go to paint mode okay let's bring this to black right let's invert it and now let's start to paint you see how laggy it is something 
look at that. It's it's kind of boring. It's not funny at all. At least at least at this level of painting, you see, it's 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 too laggy. It's too laggy to paint it. And the reason is because it's taking in account the whole shader, including the normals, right? It's taking in account the normals, so it's creating a normal map as it goes, you see? So that is, that is OpenGL, okay? Now let's go to 4.4 VUCA. Let's see the workbench mode again. Fast, you see, you, you can see right away how it how it how it will behave. Okay, let's cut it out to red color now, and still it takes some time to compile the shaders again. Okay, Vulcan is still in development. It's not there yet, so that's why it's an experimental branch. Not a branch, but it's an ex experimental options that you can activate and de deactivate on your preferences. Okay, but you can see, I will show you the difference, right? So as soon as the shaders are compiled, okay, if you go here to your paint tool, let's bring it to black, invert, the same thing we did it before, and we have the red color now we can paint like in real time okay no laggy at all it's it's just amazing eh? you can see everything happening here with without any issue okay look at that I feel this is amazing honestly it's, it's much more fun to do to deal with and actually actually let's add a texture mask let's add a cloud image and bring the contrast higher okay just something like this and now we are using the texture mask here why because we want to paint with some texture okay and look at that look at how fast it is look at that I'm clicking and it's just going. It's just going. You see? It's fast and this material it's I can't guarantee you this is a complex material. It's not just a texture painting on top of other texture. That's why it takes long to compile, but as soon as you compile you can paint and there is no delay. See? That's the difference sometimes we think that, that Blender is not doing that much, but just the, the deep core of what they are doing, it will give us future benefits that we never, never dream in Blender, right? Or at least we dream it, but it was far away, and now it's close to happen, okay? I hope you guys like it. See you soon. Bye-bye.